guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of Project Reject, where we take all the players that were discarded from the youth edition and try and build a team that can take down Morkum at the top of the Premier League. We're currently in the championship here at the middle part of September. We'll take on Millwall, which should be a good test. They're second on the table, and then we'll move on. We're actually going to skip the Carabao Cup game here against Sheffield Wednesday. Just, you know, we don't have a deep enough team to really take on these cup matchups yet. So we'll skip that one for now and we'll focus on the league and we'll move on into Ipswich Town. So let's see if we can get our first win. It's been six draws so far since we took over the team. Let's try and grab three points. So we'll get into the game here against Millwall. It will be a little bit of a rotated squad as we just had that game earlier in the middle of the week. So it will be Pereira in net with Impeva, Dubois, Green, and Hernandez making his debut at right back. And then in the midfield, it will be Trem Tremblay, Henry, Kerr, Menez, and then Barrett and Tavares still holding up the attack. And we'll get this game. Underway. Fernandez off to Menez, moves it up quickly. A good counter here. Kerr slips it through to Barrett. If he's on sides, he has a run. Moves it on. Switches to Tavares. Into the back of the net. An easy goal. 1-0. Brentford on top of Millwall. And it's a big, important goal. We needed to get an early lead and get out in front so we can control the pace of the game with so much fatigue. And Barrett has a chance to take the goal, but no, lays it off to Tavares. It's an open net, and all he has to do is tap, tap, tap a roo, and put it into the back of the net. 1-0, Brentford on top of Millwall. He'll slip it on, though, and has Kerr. Kerr on a run, has a chance, gets it to Henry, who puts it oh, off the side. Netting might have been off sides. We'll have to take a look if he was just barely, wouldn't have counted anyway, but a good play by Brentford as we put the pressure here on Millwall. Oh, they shoot it right into the box. A good chance and Pereira is not going to get there. Just couldn't get it cleared before they got the ball. I mean, we had a good chance here with Green, and I don't know, I mean, calling for it, trying to get it just booted out and cleared. But Millwall win the ball and put it in for an easy goal as Hernandez on his debut gets beat. And Pereira can't make the save. Hernandez on to Henry. Goes right into Barrett. First time strike and finds the back of the net and the answer right back. 2-1 Brentford. Barrett getting his first goal with the team. And puts us on top 2-1 to here over Millwall. An absolute beauty as he puts it in here in the 25th minute. I mean, just laces it right past the keeper and shows the amount of talent that he has. I mean, much better than what the league here has. The late reaction flies right past him. And we take the lead back. Oh, they get behind us here on a run. Take the shot. It's 2-1. And the back line falls apart and Millwall take advantage. They draw back 2-2 two two here in the 38th minute. As we miss a couple opportunities and they just get right behind us. All we can do is hope for an offsides call and, you know, still need to grow on that back line. As we're down and back even 2-2. Two Bell. Barrett knocks it down and gets it to Tremblay on the counter here off the free kick can Tremblay run in has a chance running in he goes tries to move it right into the middle cleared away thought we had a pass to Menez or Tavares there but they get the foot in and knock it away right in front of net Menez moves it to Barrett Barrett up to Tavares a nice run here can we get something on the counter off to Barrett Barrett Back on it, lays it there for Tavares. Final build up here of the half. Gets taken down, edge of the box. And will it be a penalty? Or will it just, will it just go to halftime? Thought maybe we were going to get a delayed call, but it's 2 2 here as we go to halftime. Oh, Dubois loses the ball and turns it over. He's going to have to race back and get in position. A header on, and Pereira makes the save. 
Oh, Tavares, a big interception. He's going to drive on and get some offense going here for Brentford. Into the box, takes the strike, can't get there. Rebounded shot, Tremblay wide of the net. Looking for that third goal and couldn't quite get there as it's wide of the net. Oh, and he's off sides too. Kerr, an interception goes to Henry. Henry moving it up to Tremblay. Numbers here for Brentford as Tremblay drives in, tries to chip in, has Barrett, and he finds the back of the net for number two. And Brentford, three to two, just showing the amount of talent that they have. I mean, it may not all be the best talent in the world, but the players that are on the top end are far and away the best players in the championship here with Barrett and Henry, I mean, just clearly better than everyone else. Tremblay chips it in nicely, and Barrett right over the keeper's head and takes the lead 3-2. to two. So we'll make two changes, Tremblay and Henry out for Gomez and Fuentes. But turn right over, goes to the edge of the box here. Oh, and we're going to take him down in the box, and Fuentes comes on, and in five minutes... Draws a penalty here for Millwall, and they'll have a chance to equalize in the 60th minute. Pereira with his first chance to stop a penalty. They line it up, and we guess wrong and early. And it'll be even 3-3 three to three here against Millwall. A back-and-forth game. Not much defense from either team. We'll have to try and capitalize and find out who's going to score last in this game here. Tremblay on to Fuentes, kicks it over to Menez, who moves it right up to Tavares at the top of the field. Holds up, tries to get it into Fuentes, moves it on to Gomez. Gomez in, right on the keeper. Oh, and just soars it over the bar. Had to rush it as the keeper raced out, beat him, but sends it over the bar, an opportunity to take the lead. Gomez on the ball. Has Menez on the ball here. Can he get going? Last legs. Drives in. Has to cut in. Lays it to Tavares right in front. Gomez, another chance. And both blocked. And the keeper grabs the loose ball before we can jump on it for a rebound. Fuentes, though, heads it down. Off to Gomez. He'll try and move it on. Gets it to Tremblay. Tremblay in the box. Takes the shot and finds the net. Four to three. Brentford on top here as Millwall can't stop them. And we find the net yet again for number four. A beautiful one here. Gomez gets the ball wide and Tremblay races right into the box. Takes the shot and beats the keeper. And we have the lead again with 10 minutes remaining. Just need to hold on now here as we get to the end of the game. Gomez. Taps off to Kerr. Kerr looking for a long ball to Menez. He's behind as Millwall's pushed up trying to find the goal. He'll take a strike and finds the net. Number five for Brentford. It's an absolute scoring route as Brentford pour it on. Number five here as we take a two-goal lead in the 84th minute on absolute beauty. The Millwall is all pushed up, and we send the long ball in. And finally, with a little bit of pace, we find Menez, and he drives in and beats the keeper easily to take a two-goal lead. Millwall building up as they try to find one last goal, and, and they'll find it. A back-and-forth game, 5-4 here in the final minutes. And we'll just get the ball rolled out here and just end this game. We were just trying to hold on. Luckily, we get that second goal as Kerr boots it long. And our first victory as manager of Brentford. And we take it 5-4 to four over second place. Millwall, a big three points. 11 shots, 8 on target. Millwall had 7-7. Seven and seven. I mean, no defense at all in that one. Barrett, though, gets a 9.5. Henry, an 8.8. Pereira 7.4, Hernandez 7.6, Green an 8.0, Dubois 7.7, and Peba 7.8, Menez 8.6, Kerr 8.3, Fuentes 6.8, Tremblay 9.3, Gomez 8.1, Tavares 8.7, Barrett 9.5, and that'll do it as we take down Millwall 5 to 4. 
So we'll get into the game here against Sheffield Wednesday. We'll just sim through this one. It will be all the regular players playing, and we go out 2-1. to one. So we'll get into the game against Ipswich Town, and it was a thriller last time out with the team, 5-4. to four. So let's see if we can do a little bit better defensively, keep those goals coming, and grab another three points. And we'll get this game underway. In the middle to Henry. Goes to Fuentes who gets it off. Sends it into Gomez. Gomez into the box here. Has a shot right on the keeper and hits off the crossbar. Hatchem Pong now on the ball. Goes off to Barrett. Barrett looking out wide to Gomez and it's just a little bit too long. He'll have to come back into the middle. Driving in. Top of the box. Takes a long range strike and just sends it wide of the net. Oh, we try to get it back in, and it's turned over. They're going to have a run. Luckily, the defense gets in position, and Pereira gets a hand to it. A really poor pass there at the back line as Pereira asks the boys, what are you doing? Sending it right back into Ipswich, but he comes up with the save. Henry on the ball now has Gomez. Gomez, can you find him? Trying to move on. Trying to get past his man and can't. Lofts it in, looking for Tavares, and doesn't have a touch, and he's a million miles off sides. And goes out for a goal kick. Peva on to Gomez. Gomez right on to Henry. Driving forward as the half winds down, sends in a cross, and can't find the net. Is Barrett right in the middle, but will go into halftime. A couple good opportunities for both teams as we head in nil-nil. Oh, goes deep into the box, and Peva can't get there and break it up. They drive in. A big break up into Bois Green. Another chance in Pereira. I mean, how many times do you have to break up the ball? But they find the back of the net anyway, and it'll be 1-0 to nil Ipswich as they break through. Dubois made a great interception, but it goes right back to him. Green makes another big block. But again, falls right back to him, and then Pereira can't make the save at the back. Off into Henry. Henry on a run here, tries to build it up, sends it right on to Barrett, who slips it right on to Fuentes, takes the shot before the defense gets there, and it's in. Fuentes from range puts it in and levels us. One to one, the scout future star gets his first goal here with Brentford. Coming back, showing that he's no reject as he puts it into the back of the net and finds it 1-1. A beautiful shot, too. We had a couple good passes leading up to it and just had to get it off before the defense could get to us. And he launches it, kisses the post, and into the back of the net. Gomez sends it off to Tremblay. He has some space as he drives in, cuts inside, Leaves it right there for Mel Menez. Sends it into the stands. And a, just a terrible shot right in front of the net. Had a chance to get the game winner. And sends it a mile wide. As that'll do it. An unfortunate one. We blow an opportunity with Menez. But we draw even 1-1. One, one, picking up another point. Our seventh draw of the year. Eight shots. Only one on target. So guys, that'll do it for us here in this one. And yet another draw sees us into the middle of the table in 12th position. Seven draws. We are yet to lose as the manager of Brentford, but we only have one win in eight games. So, you know, sometimes I guess it might be better to lose than get a draw if you can get two wins. But, you know, the old adage of winning's better than drawing. But you know what? We'll take the points where we can get them. We are well off the pace, so... Probably realistically, you know, playoffs are our goal here in order to gain promotion. We're only six points out of the playoffs, but well off the pace of Stoke City, who are on 30 points in undefeated season. And un they haven't they only let up three goals and they're absolutely dominating the championship. Going to go probably for well over 100 points. And I believe that is our next game, too. So it should be an interesting one when we take them on and see how we can do and compete against them. But guys, that'll do it for us here in this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, guys, have a good one.